I can remember Judge Rakoff giving some settlement, uh, you know, sometimes stepping up and saying. Judge Rakoff took him. Yeah, yes, took York him about, to the cleaners. Yeah, so you can't dismiss the judge here in terms of signing off on it. But, Jim, I, I, what is wrong with this guy? So it, this is classic uh, extreme bipolar behavior, uh, risk-taking. Um, I quote the uh, writer Jim Stewart talked about that. In his writings, this is extreme. I'm not going to call it mental illness because that's not fair. I'm talking about behavior that is obviously being examined by many psychiatrists who are saying classic risk taking. This is not what a CEO should be doing. Uh, it is not rational whatsoever. And uh, his irrationality could reflect I don't think the SEC's ever seen anything like him. And so they're really not sure what to do. Uh, what are they going to rescind? They can't rescind. But his no, behavior is such that is so medically, it, medically interesting, not financially interesting. We can see the stock is down 3%. Let's not forget they are going to find a new chairman now within, let's call it, 40 days, uh, who will take over for at least three years in that role. Two independent directors will be added to the board. All of this, of course, a result of that SEC settlement. But as well, they were supposed to keep an eye on all of his... Twittering. Well, that's tweeting. what I'm now, talking about. That had to do with saying. material, this particularly anything that he was going to be releasing about the but company. But this is when you mock the agency? I mean, this is the sign of a man who has completely lost his ability I would to, think to if, understand what, is, what if matters. If he showed this to their general counsel, he might have said, uh, to your use your well-worn phrase, ill advised. Ill -advised. Yes. Yes. I am shocked by this, and I think that people have to recognize that this kind of behavior is not the kind of behavior that's going to take this stock to $1 trillion. No. Which we hear many managers talk just, about one trillion it just, I think it sends a signal that he's just not, it's not over. We're gonna, erratic, it's going to continue. He's erratic and unstable. And I am not being facetious. This is erratic behavior that rarely has been seen in American uh, C-suite. It is extraordinary to me to mock the agency like this. Uh, I could not agree with you more. It's just bizarre. To make fun of the agency just when you're bizarre. in front of what? the agency? Just, can't he just focus on the task at hand? Three, uh, model three? Yeah. I know. And, yeah. and bashing the short sellers with production numbers. That's when you should bash them with. Yeah. Not with tweets, but with production numbers. I, if someone has to get to this man. Someone has to get to him very soon and explain to him that he is his own worst enemy and he needs to spend a little time. Hasn't that already happened? Hasn't somebody tried? Well, yeah, I mean, how about, you know, David, we forget that whole story that Jim broke, which was, if you guys don't fight the SEC, I'm going to quit. Now, that was also erratic behavior. It was.